Well, we're finally back on the ice here. We're out in some bays here, kind of around Devil's Lake, where you know typically we can get out early, you know, four or five inches of ice here where we're at. There's places where we found today where there's a lot less. And this is probably, I don't know, the fourth, fifth spot we've checked. Got a nice little bit of wall ice here, so that feels good. Water color, water visibility is pretty good. You can see down two or three feet, which makes it perfect in these feeder lakes. Some lakes, or some years, it'll get real windy, it'll get real churned up. And so we found the first spot we went to this morning it was real churned up. Only see down about three or four inches. Never caught any fish there, never saw any fish. And so now we've worked our way over here. Early ice being safe. I've got ice cleats built right into the soles. A couple of things I like to have. Ice picks. So when I'm walking across the ice, I just wear these around my neck, okay? The other thing you're gonna wanna have is a spud bar. And so as I'm walking along the ice, I just hit this in front of me. One good hard chip, you're gonna you know, probably go down about an inch and a half or so. Just for walking, you know, if water ever comes up in the crack when you're chipping, you don't have enough ice. What I like to do is just tape, take some bright tape and I tape it three inches above the, the blade so that way I can just check the thickness of the ice. And so I'm checking that ice all the time. Be really diligent about that. You can't assume anything. You know, late, you know, late fall here, I mean, there's geese sitting out here in places. And so you definitely want to be diligent. And you know, I'm just using a one man flip over. I'm using that XT frame, that Legend XT. That's a Shields exclusive shelter, but that XT frame puts a lot more room and height up to the front of you. And so I love this for walleye fishing using longer rods. Been going back and forth between a rattle and PT and uh, just a drop XL. These fish have been a little bit of a funk, so I've been just putting a minnow head on that drop XL. And, you know, heater running pretty light. I'll show you my bait here. I've got a handful of lures and a tackle box. I've got my minnows and a puck. You know what? I got to drag all this stuff out here. I want to be as light and mobile as possible because, you know what, if it's heavy, you're not going to go very far. And sometimes, you know, we might go, you know, mile, two miles out on the ice. And so that's why the cleats are so important. You try to walk very far out on the slippery ice without cleats and Boy, at the end of the day, you feel it, you know, whether you hit your head or you just, your legs get so sore. And so come out here and have fun with the right equipment. You can be safe, you know, be diligent on ice safety. But 2024 here, it is game on.